Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. We're looking at the book of Genesis chapter number 8. We read verse 4 and 5. The Bible says, And in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat, and the waters continued to abate until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. This is again an encouragement that God is always ready to rescue us, to help us. And even as we said yesterday, the Lord is in control of our lives and all the situations. Yesterday we read that he's able, he was able to control the fountains of the deep and the windows of the heavens were closed. And this way, the rains from the heavens were restrained. God is in control. And so in verse number four, we see that it came to a point where the ark, where Noah was, this ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. And as the ark rested, the waters continued to be under God's control until the 10th month. And on this, we are reminded that on the 10th month, the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. There are times when we go through situations and we see as if we have been drowned. When the Lord comes through for us, as he intervenes in our lives, yes, the tops of the mountains will be seen. Today, this moment as we share, the encouragement is that since the Lord is in control and he's together with you, yes, the top of the mountains will be seen. And just as the ark came to a point of rest, you know, at these mountains, our lives in the hands of God are under proper and true control. The Lord knows what is best for us. The Lord knows how to direct our path. The Lord is in charge of our lives. And because God is together with us, even in that depth, in that deep waters, the tops of the mountain will be seen. And the top of the mountain today could be maybe your business that you're trusting God for. Could be maybe your, 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 your family. The top of the mountain could be that situation that you're telling God, yes, I've been drowned into this now come through for me, the top of the mountains were seen. And so today, because God is together with us, he will ensure that your ark will come to a point of rest and the top of the mountains will be seen. This is a sense of victory that it is no more going to sweep us away. The situation will no more carry us away because the Lord is in charge. Take heart, be strong. Let us know that when the Lord intervenes, yes, there is no flood that is too heavy for him to restrain. There is no flood that is too much or too big for God to control. He's able to control. He's able to make away the top of the mountains were seen. I want to repeat this verse number five. And the waters continued to abate until the 10th month. Imagine the Lord stopped the water. He held the waters. And in the 10th month, on the first day of the month, praise the Lord, the tops of the mountains were seen. Let us trust God to take charge of our floods, to take charge of our situations and when the Lord is involved the tops of the mountain will be seen may he come through for you may he do it for you as as well just as he did for Noah 
and all who are with him in the ark. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.